Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. Today, we are going to look at how to find the net pay of employees of a company called JB and Sons Consultants Limited in C++. As usual, we are going to go through the algorithm and then use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. Employees of JB and Sons Consultant Limited are paid on an hourly basis at the end of every week. If an employee works for no more than 40 hours a week, it is considered regular and overtime for hours work in excess of 40. Regular hours are paid at 500 cities and 550 cities per hour for males and females respectively, while the overtime rate is one and a half times the regular rate per hour for the different sexes. All employees are to pay 15% of their gross pay as income tax, 2.5% as national health contribution levy, and 1% as district tax. Employees who have more than three children are to pay 10 cities and 20 cities per child, in excess of three, towards educational fund for all males and females respectively. Device a computer solution that can be used to calculate the net pay of employees. Now onto the algorithm. We are going to put down the basic information the question provides us with. So from the question, regular hour rate for males is 500. So we say regular rate for the males equals 500. And for the females, we say the regular rate for male equals 550 per the question. Then for the overtime rate, the question says that it's one and a half times the regular rate per hour for the different sexes. So for the male, we can say the overtime rate for the male equals 1.5 times the regular rate for the males. And again for the females, we have the same 1.5 times the regular rate for the females. Okay, now to be able to calculate the gross pay of the employee, we must first know the number of hours worked and the gender of the employee and also to be able to find the educational funds of the employee we must know the number of children of the employee so we are going to ask the user to input the number of hours worked the gender and the number of children so we say input hours worked gender and number of children from here the idea is that if the employee is male, we are going to find the gross pay if this male employee works not more than 40 hours or works more than 40 hours. And if the employee is female, we are going to find the gross pay if the employee worked not more than 40 hours or this female employee worked more than 40 hours. So we say, if gender equals male, that is if the employee is male, then if the number of hours works is less than or equal to 40, that is if the employee is working not more than 40 hours, then the gross pay of this employee equals the regular rate for males times the number of hours work for this male employee. Now we say, else, now this else statement here holds that the condition for this if statement is false. That is the number of hours work is not less than or equal to 40, meaning the number of hours work is greater than 40. So if that is the case, then this male employee who is working more than 40 hours will have a gross pay equals the regular rate for the males times 40, which is we are going to pay this regular this regular employee, this um, employee who works for 40 hours, who works for more than 40 hours, we are going to pay this employee in full. Plus, for working overtime, this employee is going to get 1.5 times the regular rate times the additional hours the employee will work after 40 hours. So the question said in excess of 40 which is the hours worked minus 40. So the gross pay for this employee will be 
the regular rate times 40, which is you're going to pay the employee for the first 40 hours in full, plus for working overtime, you pay the employee 1.5 of the regular rate for the meals times the additional hours the employee will work after 40 hours. This will give the, uh, the gross pay of this male employee. So from there we see NF. Now we continue to we say else. Now this else here means that if the condition here, which is gender equals male, is false. That is, if the gender is not male. From the question, there are only two genders, male and female. So if the gender isn't male, then obviously the gender is female. So if the gender is no male, then we are talking about female. So we say if the gender is female and then if the, the, the female employee is working less than or equal to 40 hours, then the gross pay equals the regular rate times the number of hours worked. Else, just like the males, the gross pay will be equal to the regular rate times 40, which is you are paying this female employee in full for the first 40 hours plus overtime rate for females. For working overtime, you are going to pay this female employee 1.5 of the regular rate for the females times the additional hours she is going to work after 40 hours. So we say the hours worked minus 40, which is in excess of 40. The additional hours she will work after 40 hours, you are going to pay her for that. And this will give us her gross pay. So we say end if. Then we end if again. Why? We have if, else, end if. Now we have this if, else, end if inside this if, this if statement, making them a nested if statement. All right, guys, so we are done with the first part of this question. Let's proceed to the second part of the question. Now, knowing our gross pay, we can go on to find our income tax. So they said all employees are to pay 15% of their gross pay as income tax. So we can see that income tax equals 0 0.5, 0 0.15 times the gross pay. Then we can also see that the national health contribution levy is 2.5%. So we can see the NHI levy equals 0 0.025 times the gross pay. And also the district tax is 1% so of the gross pay. So we see the district tax equals 0 0.01 of the gross pay. Now, for the educational fund, the idea is that if the employee has more than three children, we should find the amount toward educational fund if the employee is male and if the employee is female, since they are both paying different amounts in excess of three children. So we say if the number of children is greater than three, then if the gender of the employee is male, then the educational fund is 10 times the number of children minus 3. That is the number of children in excess of 3. So from the question, we had in excess of 3 children, in excess of towards the educational fund, in excess of 3. So meaning the employee, if his male, is paying 10 cities times in excess of 3 children. That is the remaining number of children after counting 3 of them. That will be in excess of it. Then after that, we can see else. This else here means that if the gender is not male, if the condition here is false, that is, if the gender becomes female, then the edu fund will be 20 times the number of children in excess of 3. So 20 for the females, they are paying 20 cities times in excess of 3 will be the remaining number of children after counting 3 of them. That will be in excess of 3 toward the edu fund then we say end if then now we say else now this else here goes with this if on top here the condition here is that if the number is greater than three greater than three and we say else will be that if 
the number of children is less than three or equal to three. So if the employee has less than or equal to three children, then this employee is paying nothing towards the educational fund. So we see end if. Then from here, we can find our net pay, knowing our gross pay, our income tax, NHI levy, district tax, and edu fund. So we say the net pay equals the gross pay minus the sum of all the deductions, which will give us our net pay. Then from here, we can print our values for net pay, gross pay, income tax, NHI levy, district tax, and then the edu fund. So we say print the gross pay is gross pay. So you should print the value gross pay holds. You should print for income tax, for the national health contribution, for the district tax, for the education fund, and then finally for the net pay itself. So guys, we are through with the algorithm. Now let's take a look at how our code will look like in C++. But before then, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Very well to our code in C++. Now, in our int main function, we declare overtime rate for the males, overtime rate for females, the regular rate for males, the regular rate for females, the hours worked, and the number of children, and the gross pay all as double, because all of these variables could hold either an integer value or a float, a float value, or a, dec or a decimal value. And then we initialize regular rate for males and the regular rate for females to be 500 and 550 respectively. Then from there, we declare gender to be a character, that's either M or F. Then the overtime rate equals the 1.5 times the regular rate of the males and then 1.5 times the regular rate of the females. Then on the next line, we ask the computer to print out the number of hours worked, we display the number of hours worked, then the user should input an integer value for the number of hours worked. And then the computer should display gender, either M or F. And then the user should input a character, either M or F, to indicate whether he or she is a male or a female. Then from there, the computer should display number of children. And the user should input an integer value for the number of children. On our next block of code, we said if the gender equals male, then if hours work is less than or equal to 40, then the gross pay equals the regular rate times the hours work. Else, that is, if the condition here is false, that is, if the number of hours work is greater than 40, then it should execute this line of code. Now we come, we leave this brace here, we leave this brace, and then we come here to else. Now this else here means that if the condition on top here, that is if the gender equals male is false, that is if the gender is female, then you should execute these lines of code down here. So it is going to execute just as it did for the males, for the females, that if the hours is less than or equal to 40, this would be the gross pay for the females. And if the hours work is greater than 40 for the condition here, then you should execute this line of code for the females. So in here, I declared income tax, NHI levy, district tax, and then the edu fund all as a double. Then I say the income tax equals 0.15 of the gross pay. NHI levy equals 0.025 of the gross pay. The district tax is 0.01 of the gross pay. And then we are here to find the edu fund. So we say that if, in, quote, in quotation uh, in brackets, if, as a condition, if the number of children is greater than zero, is greater than three, and if the gender is male, then the edu fund is ten times the number of children minus three. That means in excess of three. Else, that is, if the gender is female, then the edu fund equals twenty times the number of children minus three. So, else, if else, over here. Then, after I close my curly braces, I come here and say else. Now this else outside here is going with the if on top. So we say this else means that if the condition on top here is false, I mean, if the number of children is not greater than three, then this employee is paying nothing towards educational fund. So I declare my net pay to be a double, to hold a double, that is either an integer value or a floating value. And then with the equation, I say net pay equals the gross pay minus the sum of all the deductions. Then I say see out print or display these dashes end line move to the next line 
Then again, print gross pay colon Ghana cities in quotation marks as a string, and then attach the integer value of gross pay, and then move to the next line. On the next line, display income tax colon Ghana cities as a string, and then attach the integer value of income tax, and then end line, move to the next line. On the next line, display NHI levy colon Ghana cities as a string, attach the integer value or the double value of NHI levy, and then end line, move to the next line. Then see how Edu fund Ghana cities as a string, attach the double value of the Edu fund. These are all double, sorry. They are all double. We declare this as a double, so not an integer value. A double for all of these. The double value of Edu fund, attach it to this, and then end line, move to the next line. Now on the next line, move to the next line again. So on this next line, display dash dash net pay dash dash end line, move to the next line again. And then see how it's Ghana cities as a string in quotation marks, attach the double value of net pay. And then here we say system pause is greater than zero. This will enable that, this will ensure that only the necessary information is displayed when we run our code. Then we say return zero per custom. To get a better picture of all of this, I am going to run my code. I'm going to input values for gender, number of hours, and number of children, so that you get a better picture of how the code will run. So, number of hours worked, I entered 55 hours in a week. Gender, I am male. Number of children, I have no kids. So, on running my code, it gave me my gross pay to be that, income tax to be that, and this high level to be this, and then the edu fund to be zero. So, because I have no kids, I have no children, I'm paying nothing towards the edu fund, and this is my net pay. So, you can see our code is running properly. If you are learning algorithms or C++, or you need file copies of the algorithms and the codes in this video, join our Telegram page. The link is in the description. Show some love by liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. It, it, it motivates me. And my name is Dennis. See you in the next video. So then, apatia.